Welcome back, everyone, to another Poppin' Often with Lofton. Today, 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 we're gonna be looking at Rin's skill tree, and we're gonna be going over both forms, not just her black or white or angel and devil. I mean, there's a lot of terms for it, but we're not gonna be looking at just one. We're gonna look at both of them. For those of you that are part of the Poppin' Often with Lofton Club, I hope you're enjoying your early access. If anybody else would like early access to videos, click that join button down below. That's where you wanna go. Not only do you help support the channel, but you get early access to other perks. All right, so let's talk about her first job. Now her first job, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. She is always gonna be the same. There's no light or dark in her first job. It is only a second, third, and fourth job where the light and dark choice matters. Um, I do not think you can mix them. It doesn't work like that, but you can do a couple of things. I'll show you once we get into the uh, actual tree of her skill tree. So we're gonna start with the first job and then we're gonna do light and then we're gonna go and just do the dark version, okay? So that's how we're gonna do this video. I'll have timestamps down below for the light and dark in, and then you guys can just like flip flop between the two whenever you whenever you want to. So let's go ahead and grab these abilities real quick. Um, the rest of the stuff I will explain once we're inside the game. I just don't want to take too much of your guys' time when I can just explain it to you guys once we're in the game. So Rin is a special type of character because she uses something called charms. Think of it as kind of Ronin's Runin flares. I mean, Rune flares? Runin flares? <laughs> Rune flares. You know, the thing where he, you know, if I press it, you'll see what I mean. He does that, right? Where you like, bam, he blows up the below him to the side or in the air. Rin kind of does the same thing. And it's only light Rin that can use these talismans. The dark Rin cannot. So already we have a key difference between the two. One, the, the light Rin uses talismans in a little bit more lo longer range. And the dark Rin is more of a close range, not using talisman type of character. Also, keep in mind that Light Rin is more party oriented, whereas Dark Rin is not really. So that's another really, that's another way you can choose between like which one you might want to go. All right, so we have the first bar here. We have the second bar here. And then we have the third bar here. Now you might be thinking, what exactly are those things above her head. Well, if you use the command, the ability does change. So we'll do it again. See how something got added to it? So each time you see those little commands on top of her head, you wanna to try to press them because your ability does get enhanced in a way. Now that doesn't mean you always have to press them, but it does get enhanced. So if you're like, I want, like, let's say I've used the first bar here and I don't want them to fly across the screen, I could just do that and lead into a combo. But if you're like, I do want them to do that, well then you can go ahead and put the command and they'll back them off of you. Another cool thing to note is Rin is considered an APMP character. That is huge because you get all the benefits of an AP character and all the benefits of an MP character. So what do I mean? Well, you all, as you see, you get five abilities, right? But you don't, you also don't have to wait for the actual cooldown timer to go down. So look at me, press A and look at me do it again. See, you don't actually have to wait for the cooldown to go low. That's the benefit of being an AP MP character. And I think every character from here on out is an AP MP except for Vegas. So um, you'll see a lot more of these. Now, when you do use your commands, it does consume a talisman. As you see, you have five up there. Your X consumes a talisman as well, see? So now I'm out of talisman, I'd have to sit here and wait, or if I walk around, it'll gradually uh, kind of increase by itself. That's how the light Rin will play most of, the, most of the time is you're gonna be playing through your talismans. All right, so I put all the abilities in here, but this one I'm not gonna put in here. Basically, it just increases the movement speed and the jump height of a party member. Once again, like I said, light Rin's more or less kind of like a buffy type of character. She'll buff people. I'm not gonna add this in there because I don't wanna re-record it twice. So yeah, um, we're gonna skip that out, but that's just a buff, okay? Now for her second job, we got, a, we got loads of abilities. One thing again to, to mention is that you do have more ways to use your talismans now. As you see, there's a little jump right there. Um, as I said, you know, you got bonus things as the double jump or a double X, as you see. So she has a lot of like things going for her when she gets to higher level jobs with using the talismans. So let's see, look, at, look at her abilities real quick. So we have the first bar here, Enrage Wind. So the second ability here allows her to use her abilities without actually using any talismans. So as you go like that, you see, I can use my talismans and they don't go down. 
So it's pretty cool. You can just do all of your, your talisman things and they don't go down. I think that's a necessary buff if you guys are going to play Light Rin. You need to have that on your uh, character. That way you're not having to charge talismans over and over. Um, we also have a barrier. One cool thing is, if you go outside the range, you do get a damage buff. It doesn't show on your screen, but you do get a damage buff for being outside of that range. So what you could do is you can, you know, play PvP and just cast it over here. And then you can just go around and you have a, a damage buff. So just kind of keep that in mind too when you are playing her. And then we have a barrier. Now this only works on a party member, so you have to actually like click the party member. Like you see that little range around her? Like that is where the party member has to be standing and you can give them a barrier. She does not give it to herself. And then the last one here is her uh, third bar. And there you go. Nothing really to say, right? Um, once again, she's really just about playing through those talismans. And, and I think a great light rain is all about that. So you have to get used to that. You have to get used to that. Playing through her talismans. Um, really be, being able to, you know, just combo with the talismans. That will create a really good Rin if you guys are looking to the light Rin. It's a little bit more complicated than Dark Rin. Dark Rin's more straightforward um, in terms of attacks, but light Rin is a lot more complicated and, like I said, more party-oriented when it comes down to it. All right, now we have the third job here. So the third job, boop. If you hit a target, they uh, are basically invincible. They're basically just not in the game at that point in time once they're doing that. If it's used in PvE, pretty much that monster can't attack anything. That's like, it's just, it just can't see people. Then we have this ability. Then we also have the, uh, the buff that like makes them faster and jump higher, but you can use it on your team. So anybody around, it's just gonna hit anybody on your team. But once again, it doesn't buff rent. So uh, keep that in mind. Then you have the team buff for the barriers. Once again, it does not buff Rin. Keep that in mind. Um, and that's pretty much all that you get for your third job. Like I said, a lot of it is really just based off these charms. That's really what they're they're giving you to play with with this uh, with this third job. And then last but not least, we do have her fourth job. So the first ability we have is the uh, X key enhancement. Pretty much this increases the talisman duration and the range of dash and jump attacks for light rim. And for dark men, you consume less L uh, HP when you're using things. Dark rim does consume her own HP when using certain abilities and this will make it so you don't you consume as much. Um, this is a wake up attack. Basically, well it's not really a wake up attack, but basically when you get knocked down, you press it and she rolls. The light version does something different from the dark version. Then you have the, once again, just kind of a, a wake up attack after you get knocked down, you use Z um, and you could wake up and attack people. You also have an evade attack. So while dashing, just press Z down and she will evade. And then you have another ability here. Once again, a light version and a dark version to it. We do have transformations, but I'm gonna save that to the end of the video, okay? So we're gonna do light, dark, then transformations because they kind of go together, okay? All right, so here's our first bar. And then here is her third part. Pretty nuts, pretty nuts. Um, as I said, we're gonna go over the transformations at the end. Right now, we're gonna go to the dark ring now. You've pretty much seen everything. Oh, I guess I can show you the evade. So what you wanna do is you dash, and then you see? You dash, and then you press down, and she evades. So, I mean, there you go. But for the most part, like I said, you know, the things that they're giving Rin, and they're usually AP, MP characters, period. They're not necessarily always abilities. They're just different ways to enhance what she already has or what he already has. So when you're looking at AP, MP characters, and you're like, well, you don't really have any abilities. It's not about that. It's about enhancing what they already have, okay? Now for the Dark Rin. As I said, the first job is the exact same for both. It doesn't change. But now for the Dark Rin. So we have Endless Strength. We have a ZZZ combo. Now I'm gonna put this on, but for those of you that do not like the melee slash, you can actually take this off by clicking it again, make it not yellow, <laughs> make it blue, and you don't have to worry about using the melee. She will still do the wind attacks, okay? Keep that in mind. You do not have to use the melee like swings. You can just take it off and she can continue to be the regular basic run with the wind, okay? But I'm gonna turn it on just for demonstration purposes. All right, so I got the abilities and also a couple of these are pretty much just basic combos okay so i'm not gonna walk over all that because they're just basic combos i can demonstrate them once i'm in the game 
All right, so as you see, when she loads in, her outfit is actually darker. As you see, she, she has a little black beam coming down to just signify that she's dark. Now, she doesn't have talismans. As you see, I'm pressing X, there's no talisman. But what she does have is something called a rage bar. When she keeps attacking, it will fill up. As you see, it's right there. It will fill up, and once it fills up, she actually restores HP once she's attacking. So she restores HP when she's attacking. Really, really useful if you can manage it properly because like I said, a couple of her things require her to consume her own HP. So if you can kind of balance them both out, you're on your way. All right, so as I said, we have a couple of combos like the up Z as you see right there. We have the dash attack. Now, whenever you're in the middle of any attacks, you can cancel them. So what do I mean? Look, look check it out, check it out. So I attack, I attack, I, attack, I can cancel it and I'm just done. Or I can do this, I'm cancel it, I'm just done, I can leave. Now it doesn't work for abilities, but as you see, I can cancel what I'm doing. And this is what a lot of Rins would typically do, is they would just kind of do that. Now obviously it puts them on low HP, but you could do just some crazy infinite juggles if you just continue to cancel the thing over and over. Um, also, whenever she's low, she's below 20% HP, she does get rage mode, and that allows her to do more damage. Um, and I think that that's for both forms. I just didn't mention it last form. So my apologies there. So let's talk about her abilities. So here's her first bar. Here's her second bar. Okay, and here's her third bar. And then here is her other ability. Basically just takes her off the map. And then you just come back. So if you're gonna try to dodge an ability, you can, especially for dungeons, it's actually pretty amazing. Also, just here's me demonstrating the fact that you don't have to use the ZZ combo. As you see, if you just take it off, she does have the ability to uh, use a little wind instead of her actual melee attacks. Now we're on her third job. Now this is where stuff gets spicy. So combine everything that we just seen from her second job and add a few other things. First off, you see the wing is there. And when we did the third job for the light rin, it was white, now it's black. All right, so one of the cool things that I like about this job, if you jump and then press up Z, she will do a little ball. Jump down Z, do a little ball. So I think that's something really cool. I don't know why her evades and her ability to do this is not limited in PvP, but uh, it is what it is. But pretty much, you see, I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy, but you know, that's something to just kind of get around the map a little quicker if you guys are about that life. Um, okay, so let's go to her abilities here. So we have this one. Then we have this one. And now what this does, it allows her to make anything cursed. So as you see, they're taking more damage, and then if they attack, they burn their HP down. So she basically curses them. And then we have a wall. And then there you go, that's it. That's pretty much it, that's the job. Now, like I said, you know, a lot of what she does is enhancing. When you're dealing with AP and MP characters, you don't get a lot of fun abilities. They're just more or less, and I mean, they are really fun abilities, I won't lie. But you're enhancing their character. Also, before I forget, you have an ability to charge up. When you do this charge up, she gets stronger. Um, once you let it go for about a couple of seconds, as you see, went bam, 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 it's done. You let it go, and now you have an attack buff and you will consume less of your HP when you're doing your cancels. Now, another thing that she can do is she can charge like that and teleport around. See, once again, I'll just demonstrate it one more time. You charge up, you press up, left, right, and then she'll just teleport, okay? So you kind of can teleport when you're charging it, but you always want to try to have that active if possible. This is kind of a way to remedy not having charms. She can still kind of do a little charm thing by just doing that to herself. And you can do it as many times as you want to refresh the cooldown, uh, it will work. But as you see, it does take your HP, so keep that in mind, okay? Ooh, you see, it takes your HP. So keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Instead of using talismans, like the light version, you're using your HP, like sacrificing your your uh, your body to become stronger. And we are at the fourth drop. It's pretty much the same, but we do have these two abilities that do change based off light and dark. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate those now. Here's her second bar. I say it's second bar just because it takes two MP, so that's why. And then you have your third bar here. So it's a little bit different than the actual fight Ren, but still I think it's pretty effective nonetheless. Now the moment you've been waiting for, her transformation skill tree. All right, so we have basically two types of transformations. You have light and then you have dark. We'll go over the light version and then we'll go over the dark version, okay? 
Um, the reason why I say I wanted to do this together was because they essentially have the same stuff. Okay, they have the same stuff. All right, so I basically can go over one with light and then just demonstrate it all with dark without actually having to talk about it again. Okay, so of course we turn this on. Why? Because that allows us to transform. We need that. And then we turn this on. This is going to be your third bar in the transformation. Once you use it, she goes back to normal. So you do not want to just use it willy nilly because she will transform back to normal. If you want to end this transformation or she's about to turn it back to the Rin anyway, then you can use your third bar. But other than that, um, I would save it uh, until you, you know, until you want to turn back. All right, so we have passive, we have a couple abilities. Let's talk about them, okay? This one allows HP regeneration while transformed, and this one allows to, you to recover HP if you're killing enemies. Now, keep that in mind. You have to kill enemies, whereas this one's always on. This one, you have to kill enemies. Now, if you kill a lot in a row, of course, you get a lot more HP back, but if you can't kill enemies, then, you know, why would you take it, right? So, really up to you. If I were you, I'd probably just take the regeneration, though, but it is up to you guys. Um, this one on the left, we have absorb HP for successful landing on enemies with regular combos. So you basically suck HP from them. This one is when you're landing combos, of course you suck their, their MP. So do you want to get more MP back or do you want to get more HP back when you attack it? Up to you. Last one here, and this is an ability, we have light and dark. So the light version emits an aura which draws in surrounding enemies. We have dark, which emits uh, a dark aura, which draws in enemies in the front. So anything surrounding you, the light will bring them in. Anything that's dark, it will just draw them in from the front of you, okay? Or you can do this one. And emits a light aura, which slows down surrounding enemies. So anybody next to you is slowed down. And the dark aura does the same exact thing. Now, I suggest you take this one because slowing down enemies is not really that insane. Whereas this one, when you draw them to you, you can then you do your combos with the dark with the dark ren. With the light ren, do whatever you want. I still think this one, period. Because this one, I think it's just better than that one. Up to you though. Up to you. Up to you. It's your choice. Next we have unfold here. So light sends enemies around the character flying. Dark does the same thing. And then you have this one, which is light, which produces a paralyzation of the enemies around by pushing. And then you have the dark version, which pushes enemies around and increases movement speed and jump for a brief moment. So this just makes you faster, light or dark. I think this one's just better, period. Then we have Rise. Light, send a light energy forward to lift up enemies. Damage, damage over time effect. Dark, produce a shockwave that lifts enemies up. Dark, produce a shockwave that lifts up the enemies around you. Uh, enemies on hit will receive confusion effect. So they'll be confused, more of a PVP type thing. Um, and then for this one, we have send a light energy forward to lift enemies up. It's an AOE effect this time. And then a dark pretty much just does the same thing that the other one does. I suggest you're taking this one. We also have transform defense. Push away enemies, attack, and paralyze targets on hit for a brief moment. So basically when using this, the target's going to be paralyzed. And when using this one, you have the ability to uh, parry and reflect damage. So if you're very good at timing, go ahead and do this one. If you're like, I don't really, I'm not the best at like timing and reacting to things, then you can go ahead and just use this one and you can use it whenever you want. And the last one that we have here is transform duration extended, or you can have basic transformation stats increased. This one's totally up to you. I personally would just rather have the stats increased. Um, and maybe if you're a PVP player, you might want to have this one extended, but for the most part, we're pretty much set here. I'm just gonna click these to be random. All right, so let's go in and see what they're like. So let's look at Rin transform. This is the light Rin. So there you go. You have the first ability here, which is this one. Pushes them back. You have the second ability here. Okay. Then you have the third ability here. That sucks them in. And then we have, of course, her her uh, third bar here. Once again, it will force her to go back to normal. So just keep that in mind when you are playing. Okay. And now we have the dark Rin. Now I remember that I didn't use the combo attacks for the light Rin. And she doesn't really have any. She just attacks once and attacks twice. There's nothing really amazing to it, okay? So that's why I didn't do it. There's nothing really fantastic about it. Whereas Dark Rin, it's a different story. I mean, look, she is gorgeous. All right, but anyway, you see? Different story when it comes to Dark Rin. She'll mess you up. Light Rin just has two attacks. Dark Rin, she goes a little bit ape. I was all of a ghost sight. All right, so we have the first bar. We have the second bar. Well, it's not really a second bar, right? But, you know. Then we have this one. And then if we can get to it, we'll see our third. 
there you go. So that is the complete uh, journey with Rin's light, dark, and all her jobs. Now, my personal opinion here, okay? Transformation, Dark Rin is on point. I'm just saying she's hot. But if we were to talk about Light Rin here, I think Light Rin is more Rin-esque. I think Light Rin is more about Rin. You know, it's about the talismans. It's about really doing your thing. I wish that you can kind of do both, but you can't. You have to choose between one or the other. So if you're more in it for the transformations, I would say go dark. If you're more in it for the melee attacks, I would say go dark. If you're more in it for the close, personal, selfish type damage play style, play dark. If you're more in it for the party, if you're more in it for being the support, you're more in it about being ranged, you know, you're more in it about just kind of like group content together, I say go light. Obviously, you guys can reset it back and try the other form if you guys don't like the other form, but that's just my personal opinion. One more time. Light Rain, if you're more of a party, if you're more a group content player, if you're more of just kind of being around players, um, you want to buff them and, you know, having more of a feel of using talismans and long range of magic, or you can use Dark Rain, which is more close personal, um, a lot more selfish with what she does, not really needing a party and, and very damage oriented. Obviously, both of them can solo, but I'm just saying that's kind of your options, okay? So I hope this helped you guys. Once again, popping off, with Loft and Club. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Without you guys, wouldn't be able to do this. So I really, really do appreciate it. If anybody else would like to support, of course, click that join button down below. Till next time, I would always say, thank you for what? Popping often with Lofton.